Hey guys, have you ever explored the DJI flight records for your Phantom or your Mavic Pro or your Spark in a three-dimensional world? Well, that is what we're talking about here today. We're going to talk about how you take your flight record from your phone, your iOS device or your Android device, and you bring it into Google Earth to be able to explore it in a three-dimensional world like we are talking about here. Hang on, and here we go. Okay, so most of us are familiar with having looking at our flight records in this sort of a format in the DJI Go 4 app. And this is a very cool and very useful. allows you to be able to view your flight record and be able to replay it and see a lot of details about it. But the one problem with this is you can't see anything about vertical height here. There's no three dimensions. So that is where Google Earth comes in. So a lot of places in Google Earth, and I'll give you a disclaimer, this is not everywhere. This is not going to work everywhere, I guarantee it. But a lot of places around the world, Google Earth has 3D maps of the buildings and the environments around the planet. So this is an example of a flight record that I had uh, grabbed from an incident that someone had posted in the DJI forum where they had actually lost their DJI Spark. So you, we can see here that at this point here, you can see where this red line ends. Right there is where they lost contact with their DJI Spark. And you can see the flight path there in a three-dimensional world. This is where they took off from. You can see where they were flying. They got into some troubles here. Got it, went into Addy mode and it took off in this direction and either ended up in the drink here or ended up probably in this uh, uh, construction area over here or this industrial area. Okay, so how can we do this uh, and why is this useful? So first off, it's useful because it allows you to be able to uh, explore your flight record in a three-dimensional aspect. Now, you can see these different red dots here. You can see the different messages that are coming from the uh, flight records that occurred. Uh, you can see different uh, 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 informational details, including battery percentage. So you can see it at this point down here, they were at 49%. So we'll zoom in here. Let me get in, in there. So this battery's 49% there, 40% there. Uh, if we follow it along, we'll see there's a 30% somewhere up here. There's 30%. So you can see battery percentage. You can see log messages and so on. So how do we get to this point? So first off, uh, there is this awesome website out there called uh, phantomhelp.com. And they have this log viewer. I'll give you the URL in the description of the video below, phantomhelp.com slash log viewer slash upload. And this is a fantastic website. I have nothing to do with this website other than I think it's pretty cool. And I give two thumbs up to whoever built this. It is a great resource for DJI pilots of all kind. As you can see, it was Phantom Help. So it was developed originally for the DJI Phantom series. Uh, and it allows you to upload flight records from your DJI uh, Go application okay so if you have a phantom or if you have a mavic pro or you have a spark uh, you can upload your logs here you may be able to do it with an inspire or some of the others i'm not sure but i know it works for the the phantom the mavic and the spark so i'm not going to give you the specific instructions there's there's directions on how to do it how to get your logs from your android device and from your apple devices your ios devices so i'm not going to do talk about that you get those from your, your uh, uh, device onto your computer, you press the browse button, you go find that log, you upload it, and you end up with something that looks a lot like this. So this is, let me reload this. I'd already moved around. So this is uh, the default view for Phantom Help. After you, up, you upload your log, you end up with a URL that looks something like this that is specific to your log. So if you had a problem, you can uh, post a link to this log uh, on the DJI forum or on Facebook or something like that. And then you'll likely get a bunch of crazy people like me uh, trying to look at your logs who enjoy torturing themselves, trying to figure out what happened 
uh, with, with your uh, flight and why you are getting messages and so on. Now, what's really cool about this site is that it gives you all the details line by line of what happened. It gives you a timestamp, what mode the flight was in. Was it in GPS? Was it in Addy? Was it in sport mode? How many G GPS? How high you were? How fast you were? How far away you were? What your battery is? And it gives you error messages that occurred. And also informational messages. Uh, in, for example, was your home point recorded? And so on. Now, part of the reason why you need this site is because if you ever try and just manually look at the log files, it looks something crazy like this. It's binary, compressed data, maybe encrypted, I'm not sure. And you need special uh, uh, software to be able to look at it. You can't just open it up in a text file or in Excel or something like that and look at it. And that's where this Phantom Help website comes in. There's other ways you can do it. I'm not going to get into those. This one is super duper easy and allows you to be able to share uh, and get assistance and get advice from other people. So one of the great resources that this provides is it allows you to download the, the log files in different formats. This download KML here is a very specific mapping file that Google Earth understands. So Google Earth is what we're looking at here. So I'm going to go ahead and re uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. We're so we click that and it downloads the KML file. So we got it down on our computer, right? So then we go to Google Earth and we go and we say file and we're gonna open and we go find our KML file we just downloaded and we're gonna open that. Yes, I wanna, yes, I know I'm editing or I'm gonna lose my edits, that's fine. So this is gonna be kind of the default view for this particular uh, uh, log that I have downloaded, flight record specifically. And this is the flight record that comes from your phone or your tablet from DJI Go. It's, there's separate logs that, that get recorded onto the Spark itself or the Mavic itself or the Phantom itself onto the drone, the DJI drone. There's the, the um, black box and there's other logs that get recorded there that have a lot more detail. Uh, but if you've lost your drone, you, of course, don't have access to those. And these are the best logs that you can have. And these are the logs uh, that those flight records from your phone are the ones that if you have to contact the tech support team, they're the ones that they're going to want. Now, they don't want them in the Phantom Help website. They're going to ask you to send them the file itself. But uh, in this case, just for you to be able to look at it, phantomhelp.com is a great than their log viewer. Again, we download the KML. We open that in Google Earth and we get something like this. Now there's lots of ways to be able to navigate in this. You can see there's navigation panel over here on the right. Allows you to do a lot of things, be able to move around. So I'm just gonna start off by using my mouse here on the screen. So you can see if I just left click and hold, I can drag the map around wherever I want, okay? So I'm just dragging it around, okay? We're all used to doing this on our uh, phones, you know, touch screen devices, you just, click and you, you move around, you know, you drag it around, right? So now I'm going to just double click and that does a zoom in to that particular area, zooms in closer. Now you can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse and, and scroll back and that, that zooms out or you can scroll forward and that zooms in, okay? So that th those are different ways. Uh, if you double right click, it will zoom out, double left click and it zooms in. And if it's zooming in, you can just left click to stop it wherever it's at. Now, one of the coolest things is that you have the ability to be able to move around in the three dimensional space, right? So I'm going to right click and hold, hold down. So I'm still holding down. If I want to zoom in, I pull it down. If I want to zoom up, I pull it up. Okay. If I right click and hold, right? If I pull down, it zooms in, up, zooms out. Or I can, um, <laughs> let me zoom back in a little bit. Or I can go to the side and it'll rotate around that way. Ro pull it to the side this way and it rotates that way. And you can do a combination, right? You can rotate down and to the right, down and to the left. You can rotate up and around. Okay, and it really allows you to be able to see this flight in three dimensions, okay? So I think personally, this is a very useful uh, resource 
to be able to track down what happened with this flight. So you can see that they took off from this parking garage. You can see that the battery was at 49%. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. You can see the battery's at 49%. You can see they took off and immediately were in Addy mode and had uh, different errors going on. So if you hover over those, those uh, little dots, you see the error messages. It ended up recovering and they brought it back. And then they did another takeoff and they were at 40%. You can see some messages. They have downlink restored. Um, and so you can see that they are uh, flying around and so on. You can see right here at this point, the battery was at 30%. And they got over this tower here and they started running into some problems. They lost their compass and went into Addy mode. And at that point, it probably took off with the wind. And because the, the uh, battery was low, at that point, it started to do an auto landing. Okay. And so you can see that it probably ended up somewhere, maybe in the water, maybe in this industrial area over here. Hard to, hard to say. But that's where it lost uh, lost uh, connection with it. And the reason that it probably lost connection with it is that we, I mean, we can see where they were at. So we can see, if we zoom in down here. Okay, I don't want to get too low because then I'm going to get into street mode. But if I go back to my panel over here, I can go in this upper right hand corner and I can click and I can turn and see up towards the horizon. And you can see that, oh, I lost my perspective there. All right, we gotta zoom back in. So again, I'm not an expert at this. Uh, I'm, I'm really just new at this and wanted to share with you guys. But you can see once, once you get down in this area and you zoom your perspective up, you can see why they probably lost, lost connection was because they, um, they got behind this uh, tower here. Once, they got, once the, the aircraft got beyond that tower there, then they no longer had a connection. And so, uh, you, they, the, so you got the double whammy of losing connection while it's in Addy mode. And so you just don't know where it's going. And it went into auto landing. So uh, at this point, um, and so it's hard to say what happened with, with the aircraft. But anyways, I hope you guys can see that this is, uh, uh, once you start playing around with this, just being able to see, you know, your flight in a three-dimensional uh, structure is really pretty cool. Uh, it gives a lot of different uh, options for you to be able to uh, ex experiment, uh, see your flight in a different perspective, allows you to... Um, investigate an issue like this. If you lose your spark, maybe it helps you find your spark again, right? So there's actually, I've got one other, so let me open another one. I think maybe it's this one here, which was someone else who had had a bit of a flyaway as well. And uh, I'm gonna try and do this one pretty quickly, but you can see they had an issue where they were flying. You can see that um, they had uh, flown up this hill here, and it went into Addy mode, and they uh, it went into auto landing, and it ended up going down. They ended up finding their uh, spark in a tree or next to a tree right in this area where where this was at. So that's uh, you know just another tool to be able to help you find where your spark might have been lost at. So pr pretty cool. All right, so say you want to be able to share with the group, right? Say you say you have problems and you want to show somebody or you want to show off how cool the area was that you were flying in uh, and not just a, a regular video. Maybe you want to enhance your video with a, a 3D uh, video, uh, you know, something like this. So you can go to Tools, Movie Maker. You can do live mouse and keyboard navigation. You can set up your different settings for how you want to record the movie, go ahead and create the movie. So then all you're doing is you're moving around, you know, you're moving around and showing off your flight in here, right? Doing whatever you want to do to show off your flight. 
So then when you're done showing off your flight and moving around in 3D space, you stop recording. And then you go find your movie. And we created this movie four here. Oh, I don't, I didn't want to do that. Uh, for some reason, my Windows uh, movie player doesn't uh, like these files. So VLC likes these files just fine. VLC is awesome. So we're going to open it in VLC and you can see that I'm just playing back the video just as we did. So and then this is something that you can upload to uh, YouTube or you could try and integrate into uh, another video or whatever it is that you're looking to do with your video. So that is playing around with Google Earth and uh, exploring your flight records in a 3D capacity. I think it's pretty cool. I think there's a lot of uses for it. Uh, I'm interested to hear, are you using Google Earth for something? What are you using it for? Or have you used it uh, with DJI drones? Have you used it with your Phantom or your Mavic or your Spark? Uh, have you looked at your flight records? Uh, what are you using it for? I'm curious. I'm new to Google Earth, so this is one of my first few things, first things to play around with. You can tell that uh, I'm a I'm a newbie um, when I'm moving around and uh, exploring. But uh, I would like to hear what you guys are up to. Is this uh, you know? Let me know. Is this is this cool content to be able to to, to learn about things like this? Uh, that's not strictly just about your drone. That's about integrating your drone with other technology. So. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? So I would love to have you subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like the content we're putting out there, I would love to see you on another video. And we will catch you later. Ciao.